Greetings. The purpose of this video is to learn about observations and their importance. Experimentation requires that we make careful observations. There are a couple of types of observations that we need to be concerned with. Qualitative and quantitative observations. Qualitative observations use your senses to observe the results. In other words, you use your sight, your smell, your touch, your taste. I hesitate there. I was going to say taste. And your hearing. Your taste, you do not want to do this in the lab. You can do this in the kitchen, but you don't want to taste in the lab. Those are qualitative observations. Quantitative observations, on the other hand, are made with instruments such as a ruler, balances, graduated cylinders, thermometers. These result in measurable amounts. When making observations, be sure that you are not a casual observer. Really look with your eyes and engage all of your senses. Don't be content with just getting observations done. Observations are the most important part of a laboratory of laboratory work because they will lead to good data collection. Today we focus on qualitative observations. So what do we look for? When we make qualitative observations, we look for color. We describe the color of the substance, the liquid, the solid, the gas. We look at texture. We, if we are able to touch or describe the texture without even touching it, uh, that is an important aspect of observations. We ask ourselves, was there a solid formed? Was there a liquid formed? Were there gases formed? We also note heat changes. Does it feel warm to the touch? We must be careful here, but sometimes you can feel a test tube or a uh, beaker gently and know that the temperature has slightly increased or decreased. Anything else you observe with your senses would go into your observations. Be as descriptive as possible so that someone reading your experiment would be able to visualize what you are talking about. We also have to describe things like transparency of colors. Here are some words to describe transparency. If we say something's clear, a liquid is clear, we can see right through it. If we say that it is cloudy, you can tell that there's, uh, it's kind of foggy in that liquid. Uh, there's a cloud inside of it, so you cannot clearly see through it. Or it may be opaque, meaning you cannot see through it at all. Let's look at some examples of this. Here are three examples of what I'm talking about. Here is a glass that is full of a liquid that is clear and colorless. This one is clear, you can see right through it, and it's blue. And here's one that is white and opaque. Now answer the following questions.